Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. So I just finished my fourth and final layer of cinder blocks for the tiny house. The next step is to attach the wood to the blocks, but how are we going to do that? I was watching my neighbor, who I call Homeboy, and when he did this, he used something called a bent anchor bolt or an L bolt. Uh, so basically it will fit down into the gaps here and then uh, mortar will be put here and we'll lock it into place. I bought 15 of these. They were only a dollar a piece. So let's take them and distribute them around the building. I'm thinking two here in the front and then maybe three on each side. Hmm, two more, where should we put them? Let's go, I guess just on the side. Let's try this first one here. So these are 10 inches long. I assume that would be enough. So I'm gonna plop a little mortar in here. Let's see how well they squish in there. Oh yeah. Okay, now I just fill the rest of this in. Never really used these before. I actually never done any of this before, so we're just gonna learn as we go. Smooth this off a little bit. So the idea is that our board will go here and then the washer and the nut will just cinch down and uh, we'll have the wood on top of the block. So I'm going to get to work putting the rest of these in and I'll show you the end result. I just get there. <laughs> I just finished getting the last one in. So, let's take a look at all of them. So, here's the first one at the door. And they just circle around here in a square. <laughs> all right, we have all of those bolts in. So, the next video will be putting our board on top of that. Tiny house is moving along. I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bent anchor bolt. Bent anchor bolt. I have the front two pieces installed. Now it's time for this side piece. So I'm going to measure between that board and that board. 